and I represent the good people of uh, Isu, Njiaba, Nkwere, Wangele, Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I'm from Imo State. I arise this afternoon to move a motion for the need to investigate compliance with safety standards in gas flaring operations to safeguard lives in the oil producing communities in Nigeria. The House is aware that the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPROC, is tasked with enforcing health, safety, and environmental standards in line with the national and international best practice as stipulated in section 20, subsection 3 of the Flare Gas Prevention of Waste and Pollution Regulation 2018. The House notes that the regulations mandate producers and permit holders in connection with tear gas Honorable Mr. Samad, you are disturbing our leader who has just come in now and he needs all the time to pay attention to this very important motion. Please allow him to listen carefully. Um. Oh, really? Uh, no wonder I saw him sitting on that seat. Please remain sitting there. Don't, don't move until the end of this uh, plenary, please, Honorable Samad. Uh, you are also welcome. Yeah, the, the House notes that the regulation mandates producers and permit holders in connection with tigers to adopt op operational safety measures to minimize the negative impact of gas flaring, including limits on heat, smoke, and noise, while ensuring the operational safety and health of individuals at gas flare sites. The House is aware that despite this regulatory framework, gas flaring remains prevalent, adversely affecting the health and livelihood of communities in oil producing areas as envisaged under Section 104 of the Petroleum Industry Act 2021. The House is also aware that despite the effort of the Ad Hoc Committee on Gas Flaring, its report indicates non compliance with safety standards, leading to increased environmental degradation, health issues, and socioeconomic hardship in affected areas. The House is concerned that non-compliance with Section 20, Subsection 3 of the Flare Gas Prevention of Waste and Pollution Regulation 2018 not only endangers the health and safety of oil-producing communities, but also exacerbates environmental degradation, leading to a long-term ecological damage and loss of biodiversity. The House is also concerned that the lack of adherence to operational safety standards, including limits to heat, smoke, and noise generation, continues to expose workers and nearby residents to severe health risks such as respiratory diseases, increased rate of toxicalities, infection in children, cardiovascular issues, and increased cancer risks due to prolonged exposure to toxic emissions. The House is worried that the inadequate enforcement and monitoring of the regulations by the relevant authority have led to the, a culture of impunity among oil and gas operators whose prioritize profit over the safety and well-being of affected communities and employees. The House therefore resolves to, one, urge the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Industry Commission to intensify monitoring and enforcement of safety measures to ensure strict adherence to established safety standards. Two, urge the Federal Minister of Environment to assess the environmental and health impact of gas flaring in oil producing areas and recommend appropriate remediation measures. And finally, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, mandate the Committee on Safety Standards and Regulation to conduct an investigative hearing 
on the level of compliance with the Flare Gas Prevention of Waste and Pollution Regulation 2018 by oil and gas operators, particularly in relation to operational safety standards and protection of local communities. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. From gas. Yet in Nigeria, we are flaring gas to the detriment of human lives. Mr. Chair, Mr. Speaker, this is a very serious motion. And to me, the companies involved, the culprits, should be made to face severe penalties. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, this is gas flaring should take the same punishment as robbery and murder. Because human lives are being threatened. The environment is being polluted. And companies are ripping the populace with billions of naira on a daily basis. I want to appeal to my colleagues, the People's House, that we should rise in unison and condemn the activities of all the companies affected in this in human activities. Mr. Speaker, I have the mandate of the people of my federal constituency. I am compelled by them to support this motion in strong terms. And I appeal to my colleagues that let us support this motion. It's people sensitive, it is people oriented, it is life saving. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Lesset. I have never. I represent Brutu Federal Constituency. Mr. T Mr. Speaker, I want to thank you for the opportunity to also add my voice to this very important motion. Mr. Speaker, it is very true that I am from the creeks of the Niger Delta. And when it comes to, the, come to issues that has to do with gas flaring, Mr. Speaker and honorable colleagues, it's something that is very, very familiar to me. Your Excellency, my dear colleagues, in the Niger Delta and anywhere gas has been flared, it is no longer news that the impact on human life is very, very enormous. Mr. Speaker, it is very, very disheartening that the same oil companies that flare gas in Nigeria that have so treated us very badly, those companies very badly, are not doing so in the developed countries and first world countries. Mr. Speaker, I, con I align myself completely with the move of the motion, and of course the speaker who spoke after the move of the motion, that there must be a very thorough monitoring, not only the gas flaring, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, including the production of crude oil in this country, the oil part of it. All of this part of it affect directly human lives, the pollution, the degradation. As we speak, Mr. Speaker, it is no longer news that most regions, most communities in Niger Delta have no farm, no farmland to farm because the lands have been polluted. Even the airspace has also been polluted. So, Mr. Speaker, I think that there is no better time for this motion in this house than now. I want to say that um, the monitoring should be very, very effective, and uh, the Committee on Environment should also be included in this motion so that, um, we, and upstream so that um, we can give adequate results back to this house. Nigerians are worth waiting, and they are expecting us to do that. that. That is very needful. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. God bless you for the opportunity. Well, regarding this very important and significant motion, and so also to inform the Wuba that uh, to thank Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson's bill last week to completely stop the flaring of the gas in our country so that we will have a legislative framework for our country to utilize the excess gas, particularly the condensate part of it. And this motion, uh, we have passed the bill last week, and uh, this motion is coming timely for proper regulation so that it will stop the endangers of our lives and peoples. Come and give the house its respect. The flaring of gas has added us to our health, to our ecosystem, and also in line with the global practice, 
It can be utilized looking at the carbon credit program that is existing in the Federal Ministry of Environment. So, Mr. Speaker, this motion is timely, and I want the mover to last with Honorable Baba Jimmy Benson's last week bill for the total stoppage of the gas flaring in our country so that this gas can be utilized for economic reasons and so also to improve the economy and GDP of our country by utilizing the gas properly, particularly the excess gas and the associated gas. So, Mr. Speaker, this motion is very significant. It's very important looking at the effect to our people in the Niger Delta region, to the destruction of the globe, particularly the ozone layer and the rest. So I, I, I support the passage of this motion so that it will improve the regulation before the enactment of the law. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. Honorable colleagues, for taking proactive action in stopping gas flaring in Nigeria. Honorable Benson's bill is good, very good. And this motion, I can also recall that sometime last year, we, we passed a motion calling on oil companies to stop flaring of gas. Mr. Speaker, I would not like to repeat my colleagues, but the lives of Niger Deltans and Nigerians living in this region is endangered on a daily basis. Anywhere they are flaring gas, you go there, all aquatic, li uh, aquatic life is lost, people can't fish, and there is no good yield. Right, Honorable Speaker, I would like to say, let us pass this motion with the light of speed and ensure compliance. Monitoring is very important. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We will now recognize Orabu Okafu to second this uh, very important motion. <laughs> okay, Orabu Yampa. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency, Right Honorable Speaker. My distinguished colleague. Those against you say nay. That is of it. Honorable Okafu, please can you aye. Those against you say nay. That is of it. Um, honorable colleagues, I have one announcement for you, and that this is in respect of uh, the composition of conference committee on Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Act Commission Act Repeal and Enactment Bill 2024. It's my pleasure to announce the following people as members of the conference committee. Honorable Francis E. Waebe will be the chairman of the committee. Honorable Amodu Kabiru Mepalas, member. Honorable Olushola Steve Fatoba, member. Honorable Laori Komati, member. Honorable Thomas Iritomi, member. Honorable Adamutanko, member. Leader of the House, please can you move uh, that the House adjourn uh, sitting to tomorrow?